Hello there guys, uh, Hello Interloper here to tell you about the new event that just started recently. And um, it's called Blizzard of the Crystal Castle and it's going to be a pretty long event from what it looks like. Um, from the 22nd to the 4th. Um, not as long as the other events that have been going on but still pretty long. Um, it's kind of funny because uh, we were expecting uh, Holy Wars, but I guess they wanted to throw in another quest sort of thing. Although, uh, this event really isn't like the past quests. It's kind of like a, a mix of every past event that ever was. Um, it's almost a little bit like the Golem Master one, a little bit like the last one, uh, where you had to collect the pumpkin pieces. It's really a mix of all of them. Um, I'll go over briefly what it's all about. So, what exactly is the Crystal Castle? It says you explore the Crystal Castle in the quests, you get rare cards, cooperate with fellows, there's order rankings, all that good stuff. But, um, you do defeat monsters in a kind of the Golem Master sort of way. They'll, you will run into a boss and you can ask um, order members, friends, and whatever to join in. And they kind of have a new system in place. Um, I'll briefly show you guys video here that I took and um, so yeah it's got an intro I'm gonna kind of scrub past that so they have some uh, new cars that they release that do extra damage to bosses personally don't think that's worth buying a new card pack for but um, they have some rewards and such so See here, monsters appeared, take monster down, and um, it's a little bit different than the other events in the sense that you do combos. Now, um, show here, this is the first one, ghost level 1, very easy, 2000 HP, and uh, start battle with one party member, which is me. And there we go, so we start the battle and there'll be a combo and I actually barely got hurt at all it's not a one-hit kill sort of thing with the uh, past events rather you have an actual HP bar and then the more times that you hit you get combos so that's rather interesting um, kinda puts a new twist on the old events and then I guess to claim my reward which you see here are crystals now it doesn't exactly work um, the way that it used to be, you know, you get a chest, you get a few cards. You get these crystals, such as frost shards, white snow crystal, and uh, some more white snow crystals for being MVP. Now, let me go back here for a moment and explain what exactly these crystals are. These crystals are currencies with which you can buy rewards. And um, there's three different types of snow crystals. There's the white snow crystals, which you saw that I got uh, for being MVP. There's blue snow crystals, and those are obtained from defeating Gigas and um, Arc Dragon. And then there's pink snow crystals, which is obtained from Scotty. So I killed a ghost monster, so I've got white snow crystals. But um, these crystals, you can turn them in, and uh, actually we'll skip back to the video here. I'll show you what it's like to turn in these. It's a little bit like um, the fairy event this little person. And see, so you can exchange these crystals and you have a chance of getting some rewards. So I will exchange my white snow crystals and I'll show you the chances of getting everything. So I'm gonna click this and exchange. And we'll see what I got. I got 11 of them, so I can get any one of these items. More frost shards. And uh, I will mention that frost shards what they essentially are is the, the item that you need to collect to rank up. So they're kind of like those pumpkin cookies that um, you previously had to collect. Uh, so I could win quite a few frost shards. I could get a card, um, could get some friendship points, rupees, personal holy water and cure water, or now I can get Odysseus, Minerva, or Arc Demon. So, um, that's pretty cool. Of course, I'm not going to get anything good here. I'm going to exchange and, uh, see what I get. And, 
open up and oh that is wonderful young gunner so um obviously it's not guaranteed a good reward every time and of course the pink snow crystals probably has the best so now I got called into somebody's party here and um, there's three monster slaying party members and I'm gonna join this party oh but it's been vanquished already so it doesn't matter so um, these are the different chances of getting things with the white snow crystal that's what I showed you uh, it's the cure water all that stuff now as you go up here let me focus more on this so you can see it better uh, the blue snow crystals are of course the higher up tier and you do have a chance of getting the premium card pack claim ticket which is the same thing as legend card pack they actually renamed it you get a frost knight which I'll show you in a moment um, you get more rupees rather than uh, 10,000 or 5,000 you have 20,000 or 10,000 um, even more friendship points even more frost shards and a card which hopefully will be better but um, this is frost knight here uh, he's a new rare man rare and um, special ability is frost edge medium hit to foes demons defense and um, where's the next evolution oh well it's not letting me go there but <laughs> whatever you get the point so then with the pink ones which uh, you can only get from killing Scotty you get possibly an HR and up claim ticket, Devil Queen, Premium, Archangel Queen, Frost Knight, Cure Water, and all that stuff. So, uh, you also have a very crazy chance with uh, Frost Shards of 500. That would be quite a lot. So, um, normal, high normal, rare, and high rare cards appear when exchanging snow crystals. That's what the card times one is. And um, if you get a certain number of Frost Shards, you get a special reward. Uh, you can see 300, 10,000 rupees, and as it goes up, you get some good stuff. Uh, 10 holy powder, personal. It's pretty nice, although it would be, always be better if it wasn't personal. So, um, holy powder is always good to have. So these are some quest rewards um, that you can find. There is a... Ooh, I can't see it. Where's my bar? It's not showing me a bar. There we go. Frost fighter. Ice Elemental, Snowman, those are all normals, and then we'll move down here to High Normals, Frost Guard, Snow Fairy, and Yeti. So, um, kind of weird seeing that uh, Snowman is a demon. I mean, it doesn't look pretty scary. Even its other evolutions are pretty non-menacing, although that is pretty demonic if you are a snowman and kind of grow legs and start walking. I'd be freaked out. Now, um, full completion reward, reach quest 100, discover and defeat level 130 Scotty, go to the quest, and you get a special reward, which is Scotty, I think. Oh, that's Scotty, okay. So, um, she's a high rare, and, huh, she has no ability, which means that it's probably not there yet. Um, I can probably look it up on the other Rage of Bath mode wiki. I'm not gonna waste your time right now. I can find that out later. But um basically that's Scotty, the Crystal Dragon, Dead Morose, those are different um cars that you can get as rewards. Uh Crystal Dragon, pretty crazy looking artwork. So you can see here, kinda looks almost like some kind of Pokemon, who knows? But um pretty nice. Oops. They don't have the final evolutions yet. But I can see that probably as being a good card. And uh, I'm going to go back down here. And uh, this is one that I haven't mentioned. This is Crystallia Lily. So that's the person who I assume that you turn in the snow crystals to. So if you see here, um, Frankie one to. 100 gets you two crystal dragons and um, once again you get some pretty good rewards I don't really know what reward 2 and reward 3 mean I wish I had more information about that I guess in addition to that you also get that but um, 
even if you rank uh, 10,000 to 20,000, you still get three claim tickets, 10 holy powders, and a Crystallia Lily, which is pretty nice. And even here you get 10 holy powders, so it would be worth checking in every day and um, trying to rank up. Then uh, with order ranking rewards, the maximum 1 to 50 is a Crystallia Lily and a high rare and up card pack. So once again, they're kind of skimping out on the order rewards. Um, but uh, 51 to 100 gets two Scotty. Uh, who knows what the worth of these will be afterwards, because um, the economy has been rather crazy lately. But um, that's basically all there really is to it. I can show you a little bit more of the questing. Uh, they did make some artwork for this, although it's kind of stuff that we've seen before. A little bit disappointing. And I do get a new card at some point, if I remember correctly. Oh, see, you do have a chance to get more frost shards as you go along. So, um, oh yeah, I do get a snowman. So it, it's a, it's an interesting sort of event. It's a refreshing event in the sense that it's not a rehashed version of the other ones. But um, personally, I think it's worth taking part in this one because even if you don't rank very high, you still will get a fairly decent reward. So um, if you want to use the holy powder and so on and so forth, go for it. But in my own personal opinion, I wouldn't waste it. Save it for something that you're actually going to save up for, especially because things are so cheap right now. Um, if I go back down here. I mean, look, you can win... 10,000, not 10,000, sorry, 10 holy powders, even from ranking 20,000 to 30,000. And just imagine what that can buy you. You know, at this rate, 10 holy powders can buy you a really nice high rare. So um, that's basically all you really need to know about this um, event. Probably recommend to try it out yourself, because uh, it's worth it. Now, um, I don't have a lot of new questions. But uh, there's two more. Somebody asks, why is Lancelot more expensive than Longinus? And um, I will show you here what the question is all about. Now, um, I don't really know much about Man SRs, so I did have to look these up. And uh, let me stretch this a little further here. Let's see a little more. Um, as you can see, that's Lancelot. It's an S rare. Longinus is also an S rare. Now, if we look at the attack and defense, you see here that the maximum is about 9,780, and maximum is um, 7,350 for attack, but these are both defense cards. So you have here Lancelot, and you have here Long Longinus. Sorry. And um, as you can see, Longinus has more maximum defense. So when it's fully evolved, it will have more. Oops, sorry, my mouse just fell down. <laughs> but as you can see, um, Longinus does have more maximum defense. So it will be a higher defense card. Now the question is, why is Lancelot more expensive than Longinus? Well, the answer to that is actually in the ability. Now, even though Lancelot has less defense, its effect is great boost to man defense. And that is a 15% boost if you are skill level 1. Um, each skill level adds about 1% to that. So, you have a 15% boost to all man cards in your defense deck. Now, Longness, on the other hand, has great boost to death all. And... Um, that is only a 10% increase. So if you have a skill level 10, that'll be a 20. Now, the only alternative, well, the only real difference other than just the numbers is the fact that this is death all. So if you have a mixed deck, which really isn't that much recommended anyway, uh, it will boost the defense of everybody. So in other words, Lancelot's skill is technically better for an all-man defense deck. Because, of course, um, you'd rather have 25% than 20%. So that's why Lancelot is more expensive. And there's also another reason why Lancelot um, 
is more valuable in the long run, it's because in the Japanese version there is a fifth evolution. And um, nobody's sure exactly when the fifth evolutions will be released in the US or if it will be released at all. Um, but we're hoping, hopefully, because a uh, fifth evolution of Bahamut would be pretty cool along with this. So um, if you hold on to it in the long run, might be worth more. And of course, uh, SRs are really the only cards other than Legends that haven't really changed in value with this whole economic crash. Uh, everything else has gone down, so um, these are both very valuable. But generally, this is why Lancelot is worth more than Longinus. It does have a better skill. Um, got another question. I think I have a rat in my order. How would I know if he or she is? If you're in my spot, what would you do? Thank you for your help. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean by rat. Um, maybe you mean that somebody's reporting on, you know, your team's attack, defense, who your defense leader is, what their deck is, so on, so to another order. Um, I don't really see that as too much of a big deal because you can't exactly choose who you were battling during a holy war. Um, it's, you know, a random matchup. So I'm not exactly sure how this would be too much of an issue. But um, if you want to keep some kind of air of privacy, I think uh, it's kind of hard to figure out who, would the, who the rat would be, you know try to find out um, by usually by looking at people's um, comments on their profile you can usually tell if they've been talking with other orders about things I know um, in my order I was reading the defense leaders discussions and apparently they were looking to join another order behind our backs so you can find out a lot about comments you know if somebody comments something click on their profile, read a bit into their comments, you can usually find out if they're talking with anyone else. Of course, if you um, use a chat like, uh, what are some of them, Line or um, Kakao Talk or Pal Rango, something like that, it's a little bit harder to find out, but if you see people exchanging their usernames, maybe that'd be a way how to figure it out, but um, honestly, I wouldn't be too concerned if somebody's reporting things about orders to other orders. It's not really that much big of a deal because you'll never really face another order unless you have somebody who's actually trying to recruit people out of your order into another order. That's a lot of trouble. That happened in uh, another game I play, Lord of the Dragons. That was messy. Basically, some uh, person took all the top players and brought them to a new guild. So, um, I'm not 100% sure what you meant by that. If you want to follow up with another question, I'd be glad to answer in our next little update sort of thing. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, hopefully we'll have another Holy War during the next event, because it's been a while now. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are itching to start battling. So, until next time, and hopefully next time I'll have, a uh, a little more information for you guys about a uh, different event or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm very tired. Until next time.